All right guys, good morning. Today we're going to talk about adding an auxiliary hydraulic circuit to your farm wall cub and adding a power angle to your snow blade. All right, the first thing I want to do is just kind of at a high level go over the cub hydraulics. This is the hydraulic pump. It's a fixed displacement pump, which means basically for every revolution it makes, it displaces a given amount of, uh, of hydraulic fluid. Uh, it's not adjustable, but that's okay. The thing to keep in mind is every time that the motor is running, that pump is pumping oil. Okay, the pressure comes to the upper, the smaller diameter line, and goes to this manifold, which is bolted to the uh, touch control unit. The pre in the normal operating conditions, the pressure comes in, goes into the uh, touch control uh, hydraulic unit's reservoir. Then this suction line draws the uh, fluid from the reservoir down to the pump and just makes a loop. So that's, nor under normal conditions, that's what it's doing all the time. Now when that changes is when you go up and you move the... Uh, touch control lever. When you move that lever, what that does is that diverts the fluid from going to the reservoir to going to the touch control cylinder that's inside the touch control unit. Depending on which way you uh, move the lever, uh, you either put uh, pressure to one side of the piston or the other. Uh, one way will retract the cylinder and one way will extend it, uh, raising and, and lowering your implements. Uh, this has a built-in pressure relief for a safety. Basically, that's just a little poppet valve. Um, it uh, is, is supported by a spring. And basically what happens if the pressure spikes or gets above what the system's designed for, the uh, excess pressure will push the poppet valve off of its seat and uh, overcome the spring behind it. And the excess pressure will bleed off into the hydraulic reservoir. Okay, so now the first thing that uh, you need to do if you want to put an auxiliary hydraulic circuit on your tractor is you need to buy or make a bypass block. Those are available uh, online from TM Tractors and I've seen them on eBay for sale. Uh, this one here I made myself. Uh, basically what the bypass block does is it blocks off the passage of this uh, high pressure and it will not allow it to go into the touch control unit. On the side of this manifold, there's two port plugs. There's one off the suction line and there's one off the pressure line. I removed the one off the pressure line and attached a hydraulic fitting. I run a, a hydraulic tubing over to my valve to supply pressure to my uh, three position uh, directional valve. Uh, it's an open center valve, which means that in the neutral position that the pressure will flow right through the valve out of the tank line and comes back into the bottom of the bypass block and that's cross drilled it's got a port going up and then it's cross drilled through so the oil can then go into the touch control unit uh, just the same as it used to from here with the with the bypass block not installed so that completes your circuit the, when in normal operation, the oil comes up, goes through the valve, back, and back into the touch control unit and operates the touch control unit. Uh, this third line, this was for a, th this valve is a power beyond compatible valve, or capable valve. Uh, what I've done is, uh, I, I don't need that, and it, I, if I was going to do it again, I wouldn't get uh, use a power beyond uh, uh, valve. Uh, power Beyond required another tank line run so I just ran a line up here, drilled and tapped my filler plug, put a hydraulic fitting in there and that's my third uh, line. But that's not necessary. If I was going to do it again I wouldn't do that. All you need to run is a pressure line and a tank line to your auxiliary valve. Okay, now normal under operation, like I said, this is the open center the pressure just goes from the P port to the T port. Now when you shift the, the spool in the valve, 
what that does that then diverts the pressure to either your A or B ports and those are what's plumbed to your cylinder. Uh, this has a, a pressure relief in it and your valve has to have a pressure relief in it. Uh, and the pressure relief needs to be around 1500 PSI. This one was adjustable down to uh, 1500 PSI, so that's why I've set it. 1500 PSI is a safe working pressure for Cub Hydraulics. So this one is adjustable. Uh, some of them out there aren't. I think probably the majority of them are probably adjustable. So mounting the valve, I just made a plate, fabricated it up, and bolted it right underneath the steering column. And that supports my uh, valve and puts it in a real convenient location. The hoses are, uh, I used 3 8 hose. I ran half inch tubing. Uh, either one of those are more than adequate to handle the flow of the Cub Hydraulics. The cylinder I used is a 2 inch bore, 8 inch stroke cylinder with a 1 inch diameter piston rod. Uh, I just fabricated some brackets to locate it, a little trial and error, kind of playing with it, uh, figured out where they uh, needed to be. Let me uh, start this thing up and uh, I'll show you it next. Okay, that's extending. Retracting. really handy when you plow in snow and I'm up in Michigan I plow quite a bit of snow so I love having the uh, power angle. I, when I located the cylinder I, I did it so that the hole here where you normally drop the pins through and you make a manual adjustment so that the hole in this would line up the closest hole this way in the bracket and then when the cylinder is, re is retracted this hole will line up with the furthest hole over here. You don't want to go much more than that uh, because you'll end up with interference with the plow hitting your front tire. So, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that uh, I'm missing here. Um, I pre filled the cylinder uh, before I plumbed it up, I pre filled it with Hytran oil. Um, there's uh, not a lot of, I think it's three and a half pints of uh, hydraulic fluid in here and that don't go too far for uh, filling these lines and that cylinder too. So I filled that before I put the hoses on. Um, I used uh, quick disconnects to make it easy to get them on and off. Now that cylinder, if you had other applications other than just a power angle, uh, I'm sure you know some guys come up with some way to uh, tap into that hydraulic uh, circuit that they've got but uh, this is what I've used it for and I've even belly mounted the uh, the blade underneath the tractor for uh, doing some leveling and grader work uh, I'll put a I'll put a link below in the uh, description uh, to that video so anyway I think I pretty much covered most everything I needed to cover. Uh, if anybody has any questions, <coughs> excuse me, feel free to uh, put your questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to address them. So anyhow, I appreciate you watching. So uh, good luck with this mod if you try it yourself. Thank you.